Hi everyone! In today's video we will compare MQTT versus COAP and see what's the best choice for IoT. Let's start with MQTT. MQTT is a client-server protocol designed for the Internet of Things with publish-subscribe messaging as its core. The MQTT server, also known as the broker, allows you to inspect and manage connected IoT devices and messages. Let us have a look at the primary features of MQTT. The protocol uses TCP connections for reliability fragmentation and ordering. It aims to minimize the data overhead of each MQTT packet, making it lightweight and less resource-intensive. The MQTT protocol supports bidirectional message flow. This means that data can flow from MQTT clients to subscribers and comments can flow from subscribers to MQTT clients via the same TCP connection. The protocol also supports publish-subscribe routing, which allows the easy addition of more consumers and producers of data. Now let's explore the COAP protocol. COAP is the Constrained Application Protocol. It was designed for machine-to-machine -machine applications such as smart energy and building automation. It was designed to support constrained devices and networks while cooperating with HTTP through simple proxies. COAP reuses the web concepts of URIs and Internet media types to enable the building of IT solutions. The core interaction between clients and servers is request-response. Server resources are discovered by sending a GET request to the path shown on the screen now. With the UDP multicast, you can discover servers in a group or send requests to multiple endpoints simultaneously, for instance, to turn a set of lights on or off. The Observe extension allows clients to subscribe to a server URI so that notifications are sent whenever the state represented by that URI changes. Now that you understand the basics of MQTT and COAP, let's compare them quickly. Both MQTT and COAP have client-server architecture. Common targets are topics for MQTT and URIs for COAP. MQTT is a layer over TCP, whereas COAP works over user data protocol. For MQTT, connections are secured via TLS, plus username password for COAP connections are secured via Datagram Transport Layer Security. The protocol allows client-server applications to communicate in a way that is designed to prevent eavesdropping, tampering or message forgery. A significant advantage of MQTT over COAP is client observability. MQTT allows the client state to be monitored via notifications. For instance, when a client unexpectedly disconnects, users can be notified automatically. There is no client observability in COAP. MQTT has asynchronous event-based messaging. This means the publisher does not have to wait until the consumer consumes the data due to the decoupled publish-subscribe architecture. This is a very scalable way of communication. COAP, first and foremost, uses a synchronous messaging mechanism. This means that when a client sends a message, it expects the server to be online to provide a response in real time. Additionally, COAP also supports an asynchronous publish-subscribe model using its Observe extension. In MQTT, the broker can queue messages for disconnected subscribers. COAP does not have any message queuing feature. MQTT has a minimum message overhead of 2 bytes, while COAP has a minimum message overhead of 4 bytes. The maximum message size in MQTT is 256 megabytes. In COAP, the limit of underlying transport is 1152 bytes. MQTT and COAP can ingest any content type. The message distribution in MQTT and COAP can be one-to-many or one-to-one. Finally, MQTT provides three qualities of service – quality of service 0, 1, and 2, improving reliability. COAP can confirm message delivery, which is roughly equivalent to quality of service 1 in MQTT. Non-confirmable messages in COAP have no acknowledgement similar to quality of service 0 in MQTT. 
So which one of these protocols is better for IT? In MQTT, devices act as nodes that independently exchange information with other devices, databases and analytics applications over the Internet. Meanwhile, in COAP, devices only communicate with other devices locally, in a constrained environment, mostly using wireless radio protocols such as ZigBee. Data is only routed over the Internet to other groups of COAP devices through a gateway. Therefore, MQTT is better for IT. You may want to head to our full blog post on MQTT vs. COAP for IT for a more detailed comparison. Check out the MQTT Essentials playlist to learn more about MQTT. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.